Hello, all my kings and queens, I'm saying hi. You're reporting live from the solar mine of China. Yeah, I think I like that. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to Sage Sundays. On this episode, we will be talking about spiritual awakening. I'm going to tell you the definition and I'm going to tell you my personal experience with spiritual awakening. So let's tap in. So, of course, if you look on Google, their definition of spiritual awakening is many multiple versions. You have an enlightenment and then you have the urban dictionary kind, which it says refers to a shift in consciousness. In reality, which has been previously previously unrealized, the accumulation of such realizations is in the recognition of oneness with all existence. I mean, you can say that, but let's tap into my spiritual awakening. So, if you've ever seen the memes on social media of, oh, what you thought spiritual awakening was compared to what it actually is and when you see that what you thought it was was all peace and bliss and you know a person in a meditation state but then when what it actually is is people screaming and all this well they're not lying (laughs) going through a spiritual awakening every person's spiritual awakening is different mine's was Mine was a lot. Um, I went through a lot. And honestly, I still can say that I'm still going through my spiritual awakening. Just because you go through one phase of spiritual awakening does not mean it's over. Um, You always can learn new things about your higher self. And especially if you're tapping into the spiritual realm and what you're trying to do, you can always have those spiritual awakening moments. It's more of what I like to call a eureka moment or ah okay moment um with my spiritual awakening in the beginning it was it was more so i can kind of say it was calm during the time i was trying to tap into my third eye chakra and i was studying upon it studying upon the crystals that i needed to use reading those the type of books and doing the different type of meditations that I needed to do so I could tap into my third eye chakra. But then, you know, and I believe in ancestors and I believe in, you know, they are my spirit guides along with other things. And, you know, while I was tapping into different energies and tapping into trying to do certain magic, um, Along with that, it was so many things that came along and so many realizations, so many trials, I guess my ancestors had to put me through to see if I was, if I was ready for the test, if I was ready to go through this transition that I needed to go through. Um, I could say that I passed. It made me a stronger person, of course. However, my spiritual awakening was not all peace and bliss and my spiritual awakening also wasn't all crazy or whatnot there will be moments that i was woken up out of my sleep in the middle of the night and there was times that i had like premonitions and visions and there was times that you know i seen things certain things and there was also times that you know i dreamt certain things with that being said um you know that was all part of my spiritual awakening with those, it made me come to term and realization of, okay, hey, this is what you need to realize. And, you know, during those times, that's when I found out that about number alliances and what they meant and what dreams meant and what um, certain things meant, you know, dealing with spiritual awakening. If a person... If you are out there and you feel like you are dealing with spiritual awakening, do not run from it. It can be scary. Just 
learn how to tap into it learn to figure out what's going on because at the end of the day your ancestors are sending you messages for a reason they're sending them to you for a reason they are trying to reveal something to you for a reason um you know just because you're having a spiritual awakening does not mean that you are you know you are going through something bad these are your tests and you know trials and tribulations i feel like um there's nothing wrong with it honestly there's nothing wrong with it i will tell you my advice to tell you to tap into it um try to realize when you're having it Sometimes life can happen so fast and sometimes you can be so caught up in the moment of trying to figure out what's going on and, you know, certain things can it can zoom by you. But if you can try to catch it, try to catch it, read upon it, study it, do your research, um, you know, learn about what it is because who knows what, you, you know, what special gifts um, that you may have, you know. And those spiritual awakenings are helping. So one of the things with spiritual awakening is observing your patterns. Um, There will come certain patterns to you. And if you start to observe what those patterns are, it makes it easier to realize that you're having that spiritual awakening. You will start to feel certain things. You will start to, like, you know, like I mentioned, see certain things. You will even start to hear certain things. I, after my spiritual awakening, I have a tend to have like ringing in my ears. And I, I, when I get those ringing in my ears, I tend to say that it is from my ancestors are trying to tell me something. It's a sign that I need to pay attention to. You know, like I told you, when I had certain dreams, certain premonitions, those are those are different senses of connections that you are having and it is best that you that you you know tap into that you know um also with spiritual awakening sometimes it it means that you have to let go of certain things and certain people certain people are are meant to be in your life or certain things are meant to be in your life and some things aren't um it's all about you know, finding your higher self and reconnecting and, you know, making peace and making sure that you have that peace within yourself. And, you know, you tap in and into those connections that you make with yourself and, you know, that you are meditating and meditating is a great way of, you know, trying to tap into your spiritual awakening. Um, you know, learning about your crystals and studying upon your crystals. And if you're a person who is dealing with magic, candle magic, or, you know, work or shadow work or whatever the case may be, you know, learning all about that. Because my main thing that I like to tell people who are, who are very curious on that side is to let your ancestors guide you. Let your spirit guides guide you. Your spirit guides can be anything from your ancestors to a certain animal to who knows. You know, the universe is very broad and has a lot of things for you. Um, Once you tap into it, that that tends to show itself to you it's more so kind of like how Coco was when Coco in the movie Coco he had his familiar familiar is another word for spirit guides those spirit guides was an was a certain type of animal to each person even in the land of the living you know with um what was his name I almost called this boy Diego. I know his name wasn't Diego, but you know, the character, his spirit guy was a dog, but on the other side, it was a dog with wings and, and you know, his aunt, her spirit animal was a cat in the living, but was like this amazing tiger 
on the other side. So, you know, even things like that, they help guide you. They help show you what needs to be there and and what's supposed to be there. However, you're doing it. Um, however, you know, if you're setting up your altars, your ofrendas, which is the same thing as altar, just in Spanish, you know, whatever you feel like you need to do um, to whoever the altar is for, you know, I believe in every religion that someone is there to guide you at no matter who it is and what it is. Someone is there to guide you and show you the way. And that's what um, it's supposed to be. Like I also told you, finding your inner peace. There's a lot of things already going on in the world. There's a lot of things that goes on in your life already as it is that has a lot of negativity and a lot of negative energy. Once you tap into letting that go, letting the people that you need to let go, go, letting the negative things that you don't need to be attached to anymore go, it will make your your transition so much better. Increasing your your intuition, you know, um, like I said, with meditating, meditating is a great way of increasing your intuition. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do to increase your intuition, but mainly and most importantly is start paying attention to them. When you have your spiritual awakening, it's going to be a lot of stuff that hits you so fast and so hard and not even in a bad way, but start learning to pay attention to them. Start paying attention to those numbers that you're starting to see more often, those you know, those one one ones, two two two, three three three, six six six, five five five, it's a reason why they're there. Or eleven twenty two or whatever the numbers are, it's a reason why you are literally seeing that number. It's a reason why you're seeing one 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 every day around, you know, one one one, even if it's not one eleven in the daytime or one eleven at night. You know, you're still seeing 111 and it's a reason for it. You might be passing up a gas station and the cost of a drink is 111. It's a reason why you're seeing those numbers. Look it up. Do your research. It's a part of your spiritual awakening. All of that is part of your spiritual awakening. Um, you know, once you start to tap into all of that, Honestly, your spiritual awakening would be the most beautiful thing ever. No matter what you go through, you will love the transition, the process. And honestly, like I told you, I still believe that even though it's different phases, I believe it's different phases of them. I believe that I've been through multiple spiritual awakening phases. Um, I just, I don't believe it's just one. Um, but for the most part, like I say, tune in to it, tap into it. Realize what you have because you have a gift. Clearly, your ancestors are trying to help you find that guide. Let yourself let yourself free so you can do that. Let your higher self free so you can find your spiritual awakening. And other than that, you will be good. I mean, once you tap into your higher self, I swear to you, is the most peaceful beautiful thing ever ever and trust me like I said it it can be scary at times but you know get the courage and 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 you know learn to face fear and and go for it I mean hey you're trying to tap into yourself for a reason so that's all for today told you how mine was and I told you the how things can be just like I said you know make sure you just aware and pay attention to everything and you'll be golden have a great day kings and queens and until next time see you later welcome to sage Sundays <laughs>